What is up guys, Taco here, welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video, sorry about that, I just wanted to try to add like some kind of dramatic entrance on my, oh, or something, although I probably should have upped my sensitivity for that, but uh, anyway, uh, in case I sound ups uh, not like not upset, or well, I don't know, upset or tired, I'm not upset, it's just, you know, I'm tired, but I got up earlier to up uh, make this video. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to waste your time, so uh, let's get started. So, if you don't know, there was an update or update reveal at Mine Li Minecraft Live on the 3rd of October. Also, yes, I'm in my sketchbook world. This is the only world that I wanted to show off, I guess, while I was doing this, but I built everything over here, so, yeah. Um, anyway, um, just you so you can see that. Uh, make sure... Uh, before I get started, make sure you hit the like button uh, if you like the video. Make sure you comment any suggestions down below uh, about what you're excited for in the update. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this in the future and other stuff. And hit the notification bell and like uh, follow me on Instagram, TacoDoesYT, for behind the scenes and other stuff. I mean, this will be off of the uh, based off of like the order of the Minecraft uh, fandom wiki. So, yeah. So if like you don't see something specific like right away, then that's why. Anyway, let's get started with the mobs. Let's get rid of that. So first we have I'm gonna regret this the glow squid. So the glow squid, as far as I'm concerned, at least, it doesn't. As far as I know, at least, it doesn't really glow. I know this, like I said, this this is just my creativity uh, uh, piking right now. At its peaking. Peak, peaking, not piking. What what the heck is wrong with me? Peaking. This is my creativity peaking. But yeah, this is just a normal squid. But as far as I know, I could be wrong. Don't correct me, or correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. But as far as I know, they don't glow. They just have like a glowy texture to them, and they will drop instead of just ink sacks they'll have a chance big chance i think to drop uh, at least uh prismarine shards you know to make sea lanterns and stuff it's not a terrible mob but obviously i voted for the other two in favor of it first it was the moobloom and then the the chillager i know it's not that's not what it's actually called but anyway uh yeah it doesn't do very much as far as i know they might change it uh, cuz this is stuff like as of right now that i know but uh but yeah the next mob, which is obviously I don't have anything for here, is the axolotl. And oh my gosh, those things are cute. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw it off the bat. They're cute. And I'm someone who doesn't really think too much about that stuff, like, oh, you know, but when I saw that thing, I was like, Wow. I cannot wait to have that thing fight by my side. And literally the first thing I saw it was where in my where in my world can I build something for them to live in? That was literally my first thought, like, where can they live in my world? So as far as, oh, sorry. So as far as I know, they do, um, you can put it, you can pick them up in a bucket, um, which that's farther down the line, even though I don't know why I didn't just include it here. Uh, you can pick them up in a bucket, like a normal fish or whatever, and after that, they're pretty much tamed, I think, and then you c they can, like, follow you around. They're pretty, they're hostile if you hit them. Um, so they're kind of like the passive turned hostile. If they want to be, uh, they play dead, so that's cool. They, you know, they pull a possum, and yeah, they're also cute. And they spawn, uh, they spawn in the lush caves. I'm pretty sure. And as far as I know, we're getting more than just what they revealed in the update. They just revealed like I think like the like the most important big stuff. Like I don't think it's gonna be very much more stuff, but yeah, some more stuff. Woo. Up next, we have the goat, which again, there isn't really anything for here. Uh, these things spawn in, you know, spawn in mountains and the, like the new mountains, like the snowy snow mountains or whatever. These things can jump really high, so don't put them in a fence because it won't work. They'll just get out like an elk. I think, like, yeah, like an elk or like a deer, mainly an elk. But um, and also, if you anger them or whatever, they will shove you off the mountain. So make sure that you have a way down and don't, you know, make a goat mad, please. Moving on to hostile mobs, as far as I know, the only one that we have, R.I.P. Tomo, the tomato monster, 
Um, you have the Warden, which will be the first blind mob in Minecraft, which I thought would be pretty cool. So basically how it moves is, so you're just sitting there, like as if you're just sitting here and it's right there, it's not going to uh, bother you. But if you move, it'll send like vibrations, which that's some also another thing, they added vibrations. So it det it'll detect where you are. So like if you shoot like a snowball over there, it'll go over there. And if you shoot a snowball over there, it'll go over there. If you run that way, it will chase you. And oh my god, that thing is creepy. It looks like something out of The Walking Dead. Just saying. Up next, we have the Amethyst Crystals. You know, like, you know, Steven Universe. Like, literally, when I heard the name Amethyst, I literally thought about Steven Universe. So, yeah. These things are found in caves. They also ha come in, like, uh, around the blocks. Uh, Amethyst Geodes. And you can make them in... You can use those... For telescopes, I'm pretty sure. I think it's, yeah, telescopes. Up next, we have the brush. The brush is, I don't know how to craft it or where you find it, but I'm pretty sure it, uh, it probably has something to do with the excavation sites. But basically, you use these at excavation sites that will naturally spawn in your world, and you can, you know, dig them up. Uh, you can dig up stuff, like not dig up, but like you can like sand off chunks of blocks, and yeah, it'll give you cool stuff, whether it's Blocks of gold, blocks of diamond, I think blocks of emerald, and ceramic shards, which I'll get to later. And, uh, yeah. That's cool. Up next is the bucket of axolotl, which I don't think I have to spend too much time on. Like I said, it's basically you just, you know, pick up an axolotl in a bucket. It will be tamed, as far as I know. And, yeah, it'll be your best friend. And, like, oh, also, one thing. I think they, they come in a lot of different colors. And by a lot, I just mean four, I think. The main color is pink. And I'm pretty sure they also come in brown, yellow, and green. Although I don't know that for sure. I, I'm just going off of things that I've heard and seen. So if I'm wrong, then yeah. Um, up next, we have the bundle. And we literally, whenever they were starting to talk about it, before they revealed it, I swear I thought they were talking about backpacks. I got so upset. And like, like, I mean, I think it's cool still, like especially how they work. It's basically like you... Like you pick it up, you can pick it up, and you can go over like a slow, th a sl slow, th what, 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 what did I just say? A slow, th a, a lot. Okay, I'll just say, sorry. Uh, you, you just go over a lot of items with it, and they all be in a bundle. It's like a bundle of items. It's kind of like its own pun. So uh, yeah, it's like a backpack, I guess, but I don't think it has as much storage as a backpack. Even though the choker box is kind of like a backpack, I guess. Um, but yeah. I don't know how you craft these or if they're craftable. I just, I just know that they're there. Yee. Up next, we have the ceramic shard. I had one job. One job not to spell it with two C's, and I did. I spelled it, or sorry, three C's, because there's, there's, you know, that the the first C and then the N C. The, the the third C, I don't know where that came from. That 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 that. Okay, now I'm sad. This thing, you c I'm not going to even look at it. Nope. Nope, I'm not even looking at it. So basically what the ceramic shard does is you can put it on, you, like you find it in the excavation sites, you can put it on uh, pot, pots or whatever, and it's like a, it's like you're showing off your pottery or whatever. You can make clay pots. Like like you put them on like a mold of a clay pot and then you burn it, or like you set it on fire, or like you put fire underneath of it, and then it'll cook, and then it'll become an actual pot. So... That was really cool. Just going to say right off the bat. The last thing I'm going to get to before I have to cut is copper. And oh boy, this stuff is cool. So basically, it's 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 like the third, I think they said the third ore with like its own distinct texture. That's not very distinct. But it only has, I think, four little like boxes or whatever in the ore of copper. I thought I'd use red sandstone because it looks cool. And I haven't used it before, I don't think, in any of my builds. So, ye. Uh, you can actually build stuff out of it, like, you know, like with slabs and blocks and stairs, like I have displayed over there. And if you wait, I think it's about 16 days completely, it will completely turn from this to, you know, green stuff. You know, like the Statue of Liberty and all that. So, yeah, we actually covered a decent chunk in that amount of time. So, yeah, if you give me just a second, I will be right back and we can discuss the cave stuff. Or just other stuff. And mainly cave stuff. But anyway, to the cave stuff. And now on to the cave stuff. I'm back, guys. So, yeah. Also, like, like if, if you don't like any of the things I've built, I'm sorry. I, tr I tried to be creative. Like, whenever, 
Like with certain things, I just couldn't like you know that stuff. I couldn't be think of anything creative, so just you know just put down a block, put an item frame, name the item frame. But you know, don't mess up like I did on the ceramic shard. Anyway, sorry about that. First feature that we're gonna look at is dripstone. Now dripstone comes in two different forms, which I thought this was also cool. Was the stalagmite? Because like uh, the way like I actually went on a tour of a like like a of a ca like a cavern or whatever, and they ca like the way they told like the way they told me to uh, told us to remember is that stalagmites or you might trip over them because they're on the floor for some stupid reason. You know, get them off the floor, and stalactites because they grab on tightly to the ceiling. That was that was pretty clever. I actually like like I, I I that's the one thing I can't forget, and I thought it was pretty cool. So I don't know uh, other than that like they they also spawn in drip dripstone caves. Obviously, uh, the next thing we have is the telescope, which, yeah, the bow is literally the only thing I could think of for that. Basically, you make it out of those amethyst crystals, and yeah, you can, you know, see stuff. Like right now, like right now, I can't see that pig hardly. But like, if I get a telescope, it'd be like, whoop. like it would show me like literally like the whole pig. Anyway, also another thing I don't uh, I didn't add for some stupid reason is uh, better generated caves because that's one thing I think they were working on is uh, Bojang uh, better like generation for caves or whatever deeper caves something like that. Anyway, we have a finally a new tree. This is this is an oak tree. Who did this? Your whoever this is, you're fired. Um, I'm I'm, I'm just kidding. I I meant like this 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 is this right here is not the actual tree but anyway so basically this as far as i know is kind of like an oak tree except it has little it has like little pink flowers on it and stuff would really cool and it actually like down below is where like it leads to the uh cave update like the cave update stuff as far as i know i'm not really sure and also they have like a root block under it and to the name of the tree i'm gonna butcher this real bad but i think it's the uh Azalea, oh god, that was bad. Azalea, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry, I'll I'll learn what it's called eventually. Okay, up next we have the candle, which I should have just put a torch in here, but yeah. Anyway, it's basically like uh, the these, which are sea pickles, and unfortunately you can't eat them. I know I'm sad about it too. Uh, not the candle, but the sea pickles. The yeah, the torches, candles, whatever. You know, they can stack up like this up to four. And every with every one, just like the sea pickles, which I don't know why they won't glow. I I've never figured that out. Do, do I have to like put something in it or something like? Just like, oh, nope. Okay, I'll learn eventually. But uh, anyway, they stack up like that, and every time you add one, it adds a thing of luminosity. So anyway, moving on to clay pots, which I bl I love these things. These things look so cool, and I can't wait to. Can't wait to show them off in my world and, you know, make make some. I wonder if they're, you know, stupid question or stupid statement. I wonder if they're actually made out of clay, like, you know, like the actual like clay little ingot things. I, I'm, I'm going to get, going to get owned for my stupidity on that. Um, next we have the drip leaf plant, which is basically like, uh, like a plant you can walk on, like, you know, step up, step up, step up, step up, step up. But the trick is, the, the kink is. I'm not gonna ever use that word again. But the thing is, uh, sorry, I actually meant to say thing. I don't know why this slipped out, but you know, kink, thing, whatever, think. I don't know. Uh, the thing with this one is, is that if you stand on it for too long, you'll fall off. Like, Woo! I think I tried too much. That that's probably what what what, what my problem is. But yeah, I, yeah, the drip leaf, pretty cool. I like it, especially like the way it looks. Up next, we have a new food, a new farm item. Yes. Sorry, sorry about that. I I love I love new farm stuff. Like especially like I'm just gonna say, R.I.P. the idea of tomatoes. How everybody you know, especially even me, thought that tomatoes were coming to the game. R.I.P. Indeed. Like you got you don't even realize like that was literally the thi the highlight of the update. Like when I thought they were adding tomatoes. Like like everything else I love. No no don't get me wrong, but this. Or not this, the tomatoes. The tomatoes were my favorite thing in the thing, and now they're not coming, and I'm sad. So, 
Yeah, I mean, and, and like, I don't even like tomatoes. Like, I'm just going to say, I don't even like tomatoes in real life. I don't like tomatoes. I catch up, but I don't like tomatoes. I, I haven't for about 10, 11 years. Don't know why. I just don't. But yeah. Anyway, sorry about that. The glow berries. The glow berries are basically like the normal berries, like the, you know, the normal sweet berries, but they grow in caves. And they glow, and you can eat them, which is weird. Like, like, do, if I eat them, do I light up? Like, like, bruh, answer the question. Answer. Do I? Am I gonna glow like a glow squid? But unlike the glow squid, I'll actually glow. Uh, anyway, up next we have the lightning rod, and it's it's kind of look. It kind of reminds me of Thor's hammer, so that's pretty cool. Basically, you put it on your building, or your builds. If if you have like a wooden roof, wool roof, whatever, you don't want lightning to strike it and burn it down. You just put a lightning rod on your roof, and it will attract all the lightning in the immediate, like in the like right away, like immediate surroundings. Like not like from like you know two two thousand blocks away, but you know like a, a certain distance. So all the lightning will instead hit this instead of your build. Up next, we have the powdered snow, also known as the snowy or snow, as I think they called it, and I like that term better. But powdered snow sounds pretty cool too. Basically, it's like normal snow. I mean, this is normal snow, but if you step on it. Or if you're not careful enough and you step on it, you will fall right through. And I think you can actually suffocate through it. I do not know for sure, but that would be kind of weird, but also kind of cool. Up next, we have the Spore Blossom, which it hangs on the ceiling of the, tri I think it's the Lush Caves. That makes sense. Oh, the uh, so do the berries. The berries also grow in Lush Caves, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, these things will emit like little pink particles or whatever. And if you hover them over cauldrons, it will fold. It will, f it will fold the cauldron. It will, it will fill the cauldron. Sorry about that. Yeah. Also, another plant, really cool. Got to say, really cool. Another block is the deep dark stone, which it's like normal stone but a lot darker. It spawns in the dark, the deep dark caves, obviously, hence the name. And that's where the warden usually hangs out. You know, the warden trying to keep you out of his hole, or whatever. You keep him out of. You know his his house. I mean, his that that's his house, the cave. And last but not least, other than this stuff, is the skulk block and the skulk sensor, which basically is like it's part of the new vibration system thing that they added. You know, like where you walk and it will send like, like if you walk near it, it'll like irritate it and then it'll send us a, a signal. So it's like new form of redstone. Mm. So that's cool. Like so like like with doors. Like it's like pressure plates, but like you can just walk near and it'll open the doors for you, and you don't even have to touch. You don't have to lift your lift a finger on the controller. Like you know, the oh, open the door, close the door. It'll do it for you. As far as I know, that would be pretty cool. Up next are the three biomes in the game. We have the deep dark uh, cave. Like I said, not very creative on this one, but I tried. The dripstone caves, which is basically a repeat of the other one over there. Sorry about that. And the lush cave. Which was really cool in my opinion. Uh, up next, we have the uh, excavation site, which you can you know do to excavate, obviously. So you can get some shards, get some good stuff. Also, uh, be careful when you're using the brush on like stuff. If you try, if you uh, I don't know how it works or whatever. But, like if you tried really or too hard or whatever, it will break whatever item is in there, and then you'll be sad forever. But because then you won't have it anymore. And yeah, that's everything. But I just want to hold just a, a quick moment of silence just for the two mobs that we've lost in this in this in the, the fight in the fight for a new mob in Minecraft. We have the Mooblum and we have the uh, the Ice Lodger. D really? I I I need to get better at spelling. But let's just hold like just a quick moment of silence for the two mobs that could have also helped make Minecraft just a little bit better in their own specific ways okay now that that's over with um yeah in all seriousness i i really wish they that these would have been added as like you know like a homage to the you know the, the snow the snowy snow the goats and all that since you know updated mountains snow all that stuff and then the mooblum because you know the lush caves and all that but also you know the bees need a friend too but yeah i'm gonna get to the end in just a quick second so yeah i'll see Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I also wanted to quickly apologize for the late video uh, coming out today on Saturday instead of Friday. I'm actually recording it on, on Saturday. I just was really busy yesterday with school stuff. I had a lot to do. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry that it, you know took another extra day to make a video. But I but promise I promise that this video will be up at three o'clock today. So like I said, I wanted to apologize, and I just needed a, just a one day break. Uh, you know, just one day where I didn't have to worry about, you know, like, well, I'm going to upload a video or when am I going to do this? When am I going to do that? So I, I, once again, I apologize and we will be back t on schedule next, uh, on Tuesday with hopefully the second episode of my five nights at Freddy series, which I, I'm sorry. I, I know like I kind of started the new series and then I just kind of stopped. Like I didn't like, like, I just wanted to get another, uh, like the, the, so the thing, so the original schedule was going to be. It was going to be that Five Nights at Freddy's video. Then it was going to be Taco Tuesday. Then it was going to be Five Nights at Freddy's. Then Taco Tuesday, and then you know the then the pattern again. The you know, I guess I don't know. I, I I would think of something, but I forgot, which is not a bad thing because you know I love making the video. Was the 2020 Democratic primary video, which uh, came out on the Taco Tuesday ep day that I was going to do the Taco Tuesday video. So then I uploaded that, and or well, it was already uploaded or whatever. But uh, then I actually did the Taco Tuesday video. So once again, I just wanted to apologize for the, you know, the, and, and also I was kind of getting tired of uploading Minecraft because, you know, like ev it was like every second, or like or not every second, but like it feel I felt like every time I uploaded a video, it was Minecraft, which not going to lie, it kind of was, but you know, so I'm just going to do a quick pan by as I do my little outro thing of all the cool stuff that's going to be in the game. Hopefully, well, obviously at, you know, sorry, I'm just going to start it, but obviously at like a smaller not as creative, not as cool scale, but yeah, I honestly I can't wait for this update. Uh, my favorite part about it is probably going to be the axolotls and the goats, and yeah, all the new plants and farm stuff. But yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I honestly appreciate it. I re it really means a lot. I know I say that a lot, but you you have no idea. It really means a lot. Click the like button if you did like this video. Make sure you uh, comment down below any suggestions for any builds. Anything for me to do? There's a sheep in the excavation cave. Um, uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already for more content uh, and all that stuff. Hit uh, the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And uh, follow me on Instagram at Taco Does YT for, uh, for updates, behind the scenes, sneak peeks, and all that other stuff. And also follow my friend. Uh, uh, at, Kensuke, uh, at it's Kensuke 101 uh, he also does he also shows like brief like sneak peeks or whatever actually uh, more sneak peeks than I do probably B uh, but he tags me in them so obviously you'll, you'll be able to see them hopefully um, yeah he's also a really good artist he helped me with the compromise of 1790 video and he's helping me with the upcoming George Washington video so yeah he's awesome at doing that stuff so you know check him out it would really mean a lot to him and also would mean a lot to me because he's a really good friend of mine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have an awesome Saturday, awesome weekend. Hope you're staying safe and staying responsible and not doing you know bad stuff in this unprecedented time. But we will all get through this together. Stay cool and you know happy Taco Saturday, <laughs> even though it's not Tuesday. Uh, yeah, have a great day. And hopefully I will see you on Tuesday. Peace out.